What's up guys? Welcome back to another video today and today I'm going to be showcasing a few Megabox custom figures and weapons. <sighs> so let's get started. So, this first guy is... Let's turn the brightness up a bit. This guy is sort of like a, a hunter. He hunts deer or whatever in like game in the wild. I custom painted this World War II like hunting sniper green put a bipod on it and basically that's it for the gun. Uh there's a claymore trap on his uh vest. I custom painted his vest and his backpack green and his hat green. So that's my custom hunter. And here I'm going to show my two custom desert snipers. So here they are. Let's start with the. Uh, let's start with this bald dude first. So, I took another World War Two bolt sniper and like put some plumber's putty and painted it around it to make it look like sort of like a tarp around the front of the barrel. And I painted it all like a sand color. And I think I've showcased this guy in a video before. But he has a little tattoo, gold aviators, and desert camo. This other guy really isn't custom at all, except for his custom sniper the type that I think I already showcased. But it has like a beige coloring, beige and, and gray. And then on either side of the scope, it's bright green. That was that. On to my... Oops. One second, guys. Gotta just fix this guy. And on to my custom World War II figures. So, they're both American soldiers, and this guy just has a bazooka, and this guy is a custom flamethrower. I think they look pretty cool with those. And, oh my god. Next figure is this, like, I don't know, really, like, maybe like a Russian Special Forces soldier. He has, like, a, he has like dirt brown... Uh, chest and arms, um, like matted or matted gray vest, matted gray helmet, and silk, like glossy, uh, gray boots, and this AK, which I painted the the gray on to make it look like an AK with the wood. <sighs> on to the oh, next figures. One second. Just gotta put this on the dude. So, okay. These ones I think are the worst, but this these are custom anarchists, like revolutionaries or something like that. So, this guy just has an Uzi and a little uh, like pouch on his on his uh, belt, and his hair is bright green, like it's dyed. And this guy, he he is just a normal person under there, and he just strapped on a vest and stole a vector. I also painted his hair brown, because, like, had a ton of weird Sharpie on it, and, yeah. Focus. So, yeah. There's that, and my final three figures are these three. Spec Ops, my custom Spec Ops squad. And, so, wait, wait, one second, I'm just gonna do that again. Make a screenshot. And, so here's this guy. This guy is probably my favorite. I basically custom painted his arms, his vest, and his helmet all gray, and his gun. But, what's special about his gun is actually it's a sniper, but I cut the barrel off to make it more of like a DMR. And added one of the scopes from one of the Yuri figures assault rifles. And now he's like a stealth spec ops long range scout dude. This next guy is like the commander or whatever. I made him a custom AK-12 with like, so it has like the AK stock and the M4 barrel, and uh, I just left that that there 
I don't know why, but I ooh, one sec. I'm gonna take his gun off and put it on his back so I can show you what I did. Uh, one second, boys. Oh, okay. So here he is without the gun covering his chest. So I co I colored the kneecaps on his boots. Custom painted the entire figure gray or whatever. Custom painted his vest gray and put like a little patch of black where the flag would be. And I custom painted his beret black. So he's like all stealthy. And this last guy actually is a very cool figure since he actually has two helmet variants. This one sec is like his second helmet variant, but the cooler one. So he has this custom painted RPG and custom painted 44 Magnum. And ooh, I custom painted his arms, uh, like did a wash on his vest and custom painted his helmet. And it originally had like gold on its stuff, but I put it all green to make it look stealthier and match up with that guy. So that's his first form. Uh, I'm going to put his second helmet on him. So that's his like second helmet if he's going into like a night operation or into gas. And this is his first helmet. Just the normal version of the helmet, all gray. And he also has a, a knife on his vest too. So that was my uh, custom Mega Box figures and stuff. And there in that review. Hope you guys have a good day and see you later. Peace.